What's going on everybody? Welcome to another round of the Quarantine Chronicles. Today we're gonna to talk about what makes you a good strength coach? What are some of the qualities? Is it your education? Is it your certifications? What can you do to make your athletes and those around you better? There's all other kinds of certifications out there. Is it an end all? Because you have the certification, does that make you smart enough to do your job? Does that make you adequate enough in your profession to be able to be good? I don't think so. I think it's a piece of paper that shows that you're malleable, uh, that you're hungry, and that you wanna learn. Now, putting those certifications to use is a whole different animal. Throughout my journey in schooling and my certifications and my experience, I've found that not everything comes off paper. A lot does, and I'm not here to say that research doesn't work, but what I am telling you is that research is different from practicality. Use your experience as experience reigns supreme to make the best informed decision. There's rules to strength and conditioning of what the body can and can't do. You learn all that through certifications and through schooling. You have to abide by them and you're a slave to them as the foundational nature of your programming and your pursuit through strength and conditioning goes. Which means there's certain rules and regulations to the way the body works. There's certain responses to stimuli that your body adapts to. There's certain rules that allow for certain energy systems to work and you have to understand those to make your informed decisions. You'll learn those through your certifications and education and how you use them is what makes you good or not. At the end of the day, the most important thing and the only thing that matters is that your athletes are getting better. If they're getting better through the framework of the rules and regulations that you found, sprinkle in a little bit of the way the body works into understanding things like glycolysis and work to rest ratios and how to manipulate energy systems to achieve a common goal is paramount. But living and dying by these rules isn't the way to go. Is it the best for me? Is it the best for you? I don't think so. You have to find what works for you because again, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is getting better. Are the certifications and education needed? I believe so, because even if you didn't go to school for exercise science or exercise physiology or anything along those lines, you've still gone out on your own and learned the way the body works and learned the way the body adapts to a stimulus through other people's work. That still counts as education. Just because you didn't go to college for it doesn't mean it's not. The different certifications will give you a rule book on how to approach these and the foundational principles that apply to each one. I'm a big fan of the CSCS, but I don't think that a CSCS makes you a great coach. Currently, if you are to work in the collegiate population and up, they won't even look at you without a CSCS. It will teach you a lot. The foundational principles of all my programming came from that, but that's just the foundation. If you're building a house, you can't live on just the foundation. You have to actually build the house. Now the house that I'm referencing is built by my experience, creative thought, and my trials and errors. I've failed as just as much as I succeeded. I think that becoming well-rounded in all facets and not becoming complacent is the key to a winning formula. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what a piece of paper says. What really matters is what your athletes are doing. Are they getting better? Are they not? It doesn't matter where I went to school or who you know or what you know, it just matters that your athletes are getting better. Because that's the issue with strength and conditioning these days, that ego is so big because everybody's right. Everybody knows the best way. But what happened to forgetting about yourself and building the athletes around you? I'm a big proponent that a strength coach is only as good as his programming and his programming is based on his understanding of the strength and conditioning. I'm far from knowing it all. That's why I'm a student of knowledge and every day I'm doing my best to figure out how I can get better to benefit my athletes. This is through furthering my education through finding out what other people have done, pulling out tidbits of what I like, putting it together into a drink, shaking it up and pouring out success. So I encourage you, go out and learn as much as you can. If it's certifications that you wanna get, I'm a big fan of the CSCS. It teaches a lot of foundational principles that you can build upon, that you can build your house on. I'm a fan of the USAW because it helps introduce those who are unfamiliar with Olympic weightlifting. So, to surmise, are certifications the end all? I don't think so. Is getting a degree in exercise science or exercise physiology, kinesiology gonna make you a better coach? I don't think so. I think it'll give you a good understanding to start building your foundation. In turn, take all the energy that you've invested to learn new concepts and learn new ideologies, new methodologies, and use it as a vessel to make your athletes better. The only thing that matters is that your athletes are getting better, safer. Last thought, in your journey of finding what works best for you and the best educational route to go, remember, the first and foremost job of a strength coach is not getting athletes strong. That's not it. The first job of a strength coach is injury prevention. Because if we can't keep our athletes healthy, they can't be on the field. They can't be on the field. They're not getting looked at for higher education. They're not getting looked at to get drafted. They're not getting looked at to get scouted. Do your best through your journey of learning all of these concepts to apply it to making your athletes safe. Make them strong, make them better. And that's how you become a good strength coach.